Alright guys, so you wandered out into the woods, you're having a good time, you want to start settling down and making a fire, and you realize, uh oh, you forgot all your fire stuff. How are you going to start a fire? Well, if you think you're cool like me, you probably wear a nifty little ferro rod around your neck for just such occasions. Let me show you which tree is going to be your best friend tonight with a little tiny ferro rod. Say hello to your glorious best friend, the dead pine tree. So here's the tree that's going to be your best friend, right? It's a pine tree, and you know that they have a lot of sap in them. It's the sticky stuff that gets on you when you play with it, right? <laughs> so, this pine tree is about to be your best friend for tonight, right? It's got a lot of sap in it, the resin, and when the tree dies, it all runs downhill, and it's going to collect closer towards the base of the trunk. You can also easily access it in the lower branches. So you're going to take your trusty saw and cut off one of the lower branches close to the trunk. Alright, so now you got your chunk of wood from the pine tree. Let me show you what you're actually after. So, if you look here, this is going to be the resin that's in the tree. If you noticed the lighter color on the outside, that's just going to be dry dead wood. It will still ignite. It is from a pine tree and it, if you shave it down, it'll light. But, you're after the easy to light stuff, which is the resin in the middle. This piece was the furthest side of this chunk away from the pine tree. Notice the concentration of the resin is kind of centering in the middle. This side was closest to the trunk of the tree. Notice the difference. There's a lot more of it. So the closer you are to the trunk, the more resin you're going to get. Albeit if you cut the entire tree off down at the base of the trunk, you're going to get a lot. Let me show you what to do with it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start by removing all the stuff that I don't want, which is all the bark. So, I am going to lose some in the process, but that's not a big deal. I'm going to collect these and use these for the fire anyway. Alright guys, so I've scraped everything off that's not orange or turning orange down to the resin. We're now going to use the back of our knife to get some fine shavings in conjunction with the larger shavings and our tiny ferro rod and we're going to start our fire. So we've got this beautiful amber color, the back of our blade, and we're going to start scraping off some fine shavings. See him gathering? That's going to be our friend. We need really small shavings with the tiny ferro rod. So it won't take a whole lot to get a fire going, but you do need a lofty little pile because you want a spark to get nestled right in the middle and light it up. Once it lights, we're going to add our larger shavings and go up from there and you have a fire. So the trick to using any ferro rod is one, you're going to need a ferrocium rod. Two, you're going to need a piece of metal with a 90 degree spine. What you're going to want to do is drag the metal, not at a 90 degree angle, but slightly forward so as to drag and scrape off a piece of metal. It's actually the removing of that metal that creates the spark. So, hold it at a slight angle and flick it off. Did you see that? Remember, it's going to be a little difficult with a small ferro rod. But we have our fire, add our larger shaving, And voila, guys, we have dinner coming up. One cool property about leather is it is surprisingly fire retardant. So we used everything from the outside of this and a few scrapings from the actual resin and we have a fire. So, we can make dinner tonight, having used simply 
a dead pine tree, and a teeny tiny little ferro rod. All right guys, so recap real quick. We we're in the woods. We wanted to light a fire, but we didn't have a lighter. So we used our trusty survival ferro rod around our neck. I showed you finding a tree that's your best friend in the woods, how to find the resin in that tree, removing the bark to get to the resin, how to scrape off fine shavings of the resin to use your tiny ferrocium rod, which I showed you how to use to light those and make yourself a fire. Now you can stay warm, now you could cook dinner. Don't mind the geese. I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. Please hit the like, follow, and subscribe buttons, and I'll see you in the next video.